Aloha from San Diego, California. Hello, my pineapples. My name is C.T. McGee and I am the Aloha Guru. And today's poem is inspired by a true story of a young boy with ADD. Take a listen. Benjamin Pineapple is six years old. He has a problem with attention, he's told. For some reason, he cannot focus his mind. He can only focus two minutes at a time. Because of this, he has trouble in school. He still cannot read, so he feels like a fool. While the other kids can sit still reading their books, he's making funny faces, hoping they'll look. He disrupts the class, the next thing you know. Then off to detention, yet again he must go. Sitting at his desk, he feels lonely and sad. He wonders, why does this happen? Am I so bad? He hates being so far behind in all of his studies. He wants to do as well as all of his buddies. He wished it was easier for him to get better grades, to be in someone else's shoes he wished he could trade. Poor Benjamin, he thinks he's not good enough. He's only six and his life's pretty tough. He feels like a failure more often than not. He's always in trouble each time he gets caught. For making the other kids laugh, he's always to blame, but he only does it to cover his shame. You see, next to them, he can feel small and feel dumb. If only he knew where this problem came from. Sometimes it's hard for him to sit still, be quiet, and learn. He gets so embarrassed he can feel his face burn. Once he was forced to stay home in quarantine, his life soon became a whole different scene. His father works by day, but he helps Benjamin too. He's teaching him new things and what to do. When he has trouble with his attention span, for him his father designed a new plan. He used to only watch videos and play games online. Now he's learning to read and how to tell time. They spend much more time together where he can learn this and learn that. His father always knew his son wasn't a brat. It only makes sense to hide something you're not very proud, whether you have trouble adding, spelling, or reading out loud. It's a lot of pressure when you compare yourself to others and think the only ones who understand are fathers and mothers. But you are not alone. There are a lot of kids like you. Lots of kids have problems in school who don't know what to do. It's okay to be different. It makes you special and unique. We all have trouble with things that can make us feel weak. Even like Superman, we all have our kryptonite. When something makes you weak, just be brave enough to fight. Little by little, you can overcome any challenge you might have, even feeling dumb. Just surround yourself with as many people who believe in you. They know you have superpowers within you too. They can help you tap into all of your power when life goes up and down or sweet to sour. There are many things about you that you just don't see, but your greatest power of all is simply to be. Just be you, loving, understanding, and kind to everyone you see starting with your own mind. I believe if you practice on yourself first, that you will have the power to make your bad feelings reverse. From feeling frustrated, discouraged, or feeling sad, you can celebrate everything that makes you feel glad. You can make people feel good and happy and smile. You've got a grin that runs for miles and miles. You're so cool that you can easily make a new friend. By just being yourself, there's no need to pretend. Having the courage to face your fears and do your best makes you a superhero who flies high above the rest. You should never give up on anything you want to do. Having that strength makes all your powers more true. The more you keep going, it's just a matter of time before you conquer all of your problems one at a time. You will learn to read and to do so many new things. You'll even see amazing things you have yet to bring to the world and to the special people who are around. I know you can leap tall buildings in a single bound. I bet you're even faster than a bullet at full speed and that your love is more powerful than a locomotive indeed. So fly to the sky, my brave little man. You have the courage of a superhero like Superman. You don't let your problems make you so mild and meek. You will find a way to learn, do try and to seek. The biggest answers are within your heart, not in your brain. When I look up in the sky, I don't see a bird or a plane. I see Super Benjamin soar high above the clouds with all of his fans waving from below in the crowd. Okay, so what's going on in this story? We have six-year-old Benjamin who has ADD. What's that? It's Attention Deficit Disorder. What is that? It's a neurological disorder. That means it's a problem in the brain that causes a bunch of behavioral problems or issues. Okay, so that's something he can't help. It's out of his control. So what it can do is cause problems like focusing, following instructions or following the rules, keeping up with school, finishing tasks or class assignments, interacting with others, you can easily be distracted by noises or things going on around you that normally don't bother anyone else. 
and it can also make you feel really disorganized or be disorganized and it can cause you to make careless mistakes. So Benjamin can have problems with all of these things from time to time. And as a result, what's happening is that he's getting behind in school, which means that he's not at the reading level that the other kids are at in his grade or in his age. So how would that make you feel? Would you feel left out? Would you feel dumb? Would you feel weird or different? How does Benjamin cope? Well, he tries to hide it. He tries to cover it up. He doesn't want people to know that he has a problem. So what does he do? He starts horsing around. He starts making a lot of funny faces so that the other kids will laugh, so that they won't find out that he's really having a hard time and that he can't read like they can, right? So what are the results of that behavior? Well, it's certainly not helping him in school, right? It's not helping him get smarter. It's not helping him get ahead. In fact, in fact, he keeps falling behind. It's not helping him read any better because he's just not doing it. And all that's happening is that he's getting in trouble. So here's my message for you, Benjamin. I know you're not a bad kid. I know that you have lots to offer the world. You are a really cool kid. You make people happy. You have a smile that runs for miles and miles. Your smile lights the world up. You're a kind, loving person. People like you, people love you, and people wanna be your friend. That's a whole lot of power. That's your superpower. But sometimes your behavior can come across as bad, but that's not you. I know you can't help it. That's not you, it's your ADD. And sometimes it can kind of take control, right? And it must make you feel really weak and you must get really tired of dealing with it every day. But the fact that you do, the fact that you keep fighting and keep going and that you're brave to face your fears and to overcome this, that's what makes you a superhero. And you know what else? I know that it can feel a little weird to be so different from the other kids, but guess what? It's okay to be different. It's okay to need extra help sometimes. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to accept help and it's okay to get help, right? Because Getting help is what's going to empower you to greatness. It will help you become the superhero that I know you are, but you might not feel that way yet. ADD is like your kryptonite. It might make you feel weak, but I say be brave. Keep fighting for yourself. Someday you will get better. You will overcome this. You're just getting started. You're only six years old. It's just a matter of time. So be patient and kind and loving with yourself. You're just doing the best you can, right? So don't feel ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Everyone has something that they need to work on. Everyone has some kind of problem or something they don't even like about themselves. Everyone has some kind of flaw or imperfection. We all have things to work on. And you know what else? You're not alone. There are a lot of kids and adults with ADD or ADHD. There are a lot of people who have other learning disabilities, okay? But I believe it's what makes you stronger, okay? So let the people who care about you keep sharing their power to make your powers stronger, okay? And aren't you so lucky that your dad loves you so much that he's willing to make the time and the effort to help you get better and to help you with your reading and a ton of other things? You have a great dad. Not everyone has a great dad. So I'm really happy for you. And I know that both your parents must be so proud that you're doing your best. You're doing your best, your dad's doing his best. Imagine if we all focused on doing our best. That would make the whole world a better place to live. Now for you kids who don't have ADD, ADHD, or any other learning disability or physical disability or health problem that gets in the way of like everyday life, this message is for you. It is not someone's fault when they have a problem like ADD. They can't help it. They didn't ask for it, right? So be compassionate. What does that mean? It means being more kind and loving and more patient with others who are struggling with a problem. In fact, having compassion means that you don't want to see someone struggle with a problem. So what can you do to help? Well, again, be patient, be understanding, be kind, encourage them to do their best, encourage them to do the work, encourage them to keep going. And if you can, offer some help. Show them how you do something. Offer some tips. Show them the way. Um, give them pats on the back. Tell them that they're doing a great job. Be their friend. 
Be their biggest fan, be their biggest cheerleader, offering encouragement and congratulating them every time they finish a task or see something through is the best way you can help them because that's where they're really struggling and they might want to give up. Don't let them give up, okay? Share your aloha. What does that mean? Be loving, be kind, and be compassionate, not only with yourself, but with others. The more we share that with others, the more we spread it into the world, the more we make the world a better place. From San Diego, I am the Aloha Guru, and for you I wish peace, love, and aloha. We'll see you next time.